Hollywood takes in false hopes. For those who wish celebrity, stardom disguised with hidden agendas, being tempted by industry, morality, lacking spirituality in reality shows. False truths induce a vision to hypothetical situations as satire, then apocalyptic scenarios as jokes, while pop culture is ignorant of experiencing any real feelings. Hollywood masses grow lifeless, wasting talent and humanity while acting, sucking millions of people dry in manifestation of Hollywood posturing, bumped up by Hollywood images. Fairy tales bring blurry images, split by nonsensical faces that are forgotten, leaving some laughing and screaming like Greek tragedies in bloody photographs and auditions. Making of perceptions excite actors as producers and directors flutter through blades with serrated edges, ripping unproven actors to pieces, leaving their acting artistry humiliated. Actors shoot film reels, spinning, burning them inside out, hoping to find themselves in lights of cinema screens and audiences, shutting themselves away in dark. Fables are windowless door screens, stained in sticky juices, where audition lines are hidden away, like yesterday, judged through monstrous media eyes with no perceptive. The Hollywood appeal captures attention, intruding sex lives in a baiting sleep where fingers reach pulses in nursery rhyme, rhythm, dreams, mocked inside romantic, dark fantasy. The Hollywood brands are lies, superficial like attainments of fame, where stupidity is contagious, hysteria, treating successful as modern royalty with plastic noses and minds. I see hybrid hypermedia rearranged to be shamelessly profane, killing the filaments of yesterday and lifeblood, leaving puncture marks eaten by crows picking bones. Life is surreal at times, wondering of cinematic tricks where answers evade as tuning on to appeal with revelations as voices fade in audition lines. Many tumble down rabbit holes without finding Wonderland as television talks back and mocks with pictures looking back at one laughing to hide their insecurities. Actors arrive at audition lines, testing morality, riding into battle, hitting lines against another, taking orders, carving up materialistic needs, slicing and stabbing for part. Actors rule no battle side against the false prophet directors, awaiting the eternal destiny, becoming a soldier in the battlefield as greedy, bloody, corporate altars. Actors experience war machines and weapons created for media domination in a corrupt system with many rich resources that cannot be divided up equally, sharing. People bent on destroying dreams see themselves as spiritual warriors, making media with bloodlust bulldozers, hoping to bury the competition, crushing the life from lines. Corporations become terror in stealing plots, owning a production company, pretending they have significance like Babylon, building cinematic towers in skies with studio spaceship, fierce competition. Corporations are not spiritual warriors, spreading empathy and compassion concepts, instead stockpiling mass ignorance to reduce screenplays to close mindedness from rich bourgeoisie assembly lines. Hollywood directors compromise basic respect for human life. For every actor is a commodity for the studios to abuse without righteousness and light human enlightenment. Actors are targets for weights, crashing down, wading through mud. Slipping is the great equalizer, drawing under and drinking deeply, raped by greed and competition. Actors know strapping down patriotism as producers know manifest destiny, where consumption is a tool of the greedy traditions corrupt like missionaries hoping for followers. Most screenplay lines lack unity and understanding of truth, both universal and personal, and even creatively and sexually making actors suffer the damning written lines. The film industry translates editions of prophets with bestsellers to whores of Babylon going to lengths of imprisoning internally, destroying acting lives and souls. The profit-motivated film industry supports extermination in audition lines for actors not bowing down and humbling themselves before the god of motion pictures. The industry has chosen people, tarnishing the others to rust in blood battle mass slaughter, used to terrorize and conquer in the name of profit. Large-scale production leaders lack artistic product senses of humor, wandering on no remorse destiny, enjoying the view, making news, with actors fearing and hating. Actors blot up like shadows, creep down lines knowing cutthroat directors loathe for their style, and knowing one day the actor could take his place. Actors want to speak reflections, acting with palms of hands, attempting to read scars, for it reminds them too much of the person living inside. The actors in addition lines push in the cutthroat emotions that haunt the messages not erased from journals and phone messages written, spoken in desperation. The actors in audition lines fight to protect inside crumbling time warps their nightmares with picture-perfect visions as deepest memories begin to resurface. Senses sting like a fabrication riding on filaments of air, polished in Hollywood dream media, mute by its sick inertia, dreaming mouths full of gold. The pandemonium swings its chaos, covered by masterful secretive techniques, centered around the acting throat, shadowing the ominous, bloomed, reflective surface, mirroring images of fear. The surface floats along edges, hoping to find harmonious refuge, conquering creatively, departing from previous traditional forms with great perception, then with profound acting meditation. The Hollywood system abducts actors, holding their exceptional ability for ransom, threatening to employ them as cash flow never ceasing, gossiped by envious rap actors. The actors in audition lines deceive themselves a million times, believing their shallow cutthroat memories.
memories, betraying words like faulty recordings, and skips to repulsive parts. Hollywood behind the scenes footage, flashes moments, cringing backwards defensively, in piles of fragments, clutching phone calls with disjointed messages, stabbing the scrappy acting gut. Audition line seas of violence, inside physical and emotional positions, attempting to keep sudden outbursts trapped in the blinking eye and convulsions in the heart. Directors emotionally, sometimes physically whip, imposing inconvenience and burdens with the bitter taste of unpleasantness, regurgitating blood and poured pain, retelling stories, ruining actors within. The Hollywood system is performance, violating taste for signed contracts, lowering itself under measuring systems of popular enjoyment, bleeding dry the ruthless appetite of demand. Those actors who are successful are treated to ugly sarcasm, drenched in hatred rumored scandals from other actors hiding jealousy, welcoming nightmares on both sides. The Hollywood wet dream keeps flowing shadows waiting for victims, by open wounds bleeding forever, by lights, camera, action, cliches, with cameras and place lights. Some actors become mangled victims, or suicides by creative violence, or betraying principles for success, limited to pan outs as demeaning credits fade to black. Hollywood admits nothing but sarcasm. Melting away actors one layer at a time. Exposing underneath. Satisfying benevolent intentions by greed. Then string up false club publicity. The Hollywood system advocates narrow mindedness from image until death. Dissolving away each individual cell. Finding monsters underneath labeled actions. And caress practiced smiles. 